let's talk about the therapy YouTube space. It's dominated by white women. Before I move on, don't get me wrong, I love me some white women. In fact, my wife is white. But let me be clear, I also love all shades of women. I love me some chocolate women. <laughs> I love me some Latinos as well, muy caliente. You're married. Sorry, baby. Uh, but I, but. You're, you're married, but. Check. I even love me some Asian women too. Konnichiwa. <laughs> that That's not racist. Is it racist? Yeah. I even love men, but not in a gay way. Nothing wrong with that. The point I'm trying to say, the, tr the point I'm trying to make right now is I love everyone. So cringy. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Anyway, before I get my ass canceled. Or your wife. Yeah. The therapy YouTube space is a small space, but if I'm going to be honest, it's dominated by white voices. Again, nothing wrong with white people doing their thing and educating the masses, but there's a void of black voices in the therapeutic space that I'm hungry to fill. To me, where the therapy YouTube space stands is that it can be a little boring, a little bland. It needs a little bit more seasoning. Don't get me wrong, I love me some mayo. Mm, this is the best stuff. But sometimes I need a little hot sauce. You get what I'm trying to say? There really aren't a lot of black therapists in general, let alone on YouTube, especially black men. Can you hand me your phone? Ow. I just looked it up right now, and black people make up about 4% of all therapists in the United States. That's unfortunately low, and unfortunate in general, because if anyone needs therapy, it's black people. I'm not saying that we're crazy or anything. I'm just saying that the generational trauma we've experienced has to be healed. And I think I have a part to play in that healing. My goal in making this channel was always to bring some personality, some humor, and dare I say a little swagger when it comes to educating people on the topics of mental health. Therapy is fun. Mental health can also be fun. But the presentation I see when it comes to talking about topics of mental health, it's always presented in such a bland and boring way. So it's my goal to add a little spice to put a little stank on the therapy YouTube space. 